Hello, liberty-minded friends. I'm Patty Maloney, and welcome to Patty for Liberty. Today, I'm talking about something very important to libertarians, and I hope you will listen all the way to the end. I'm talking about libertarian candidate Mark Victor. Who is he, and why is he all over the news right now? Libertarian Mark Victor was running in the U.S. Senate race in Arizona up until yesterday when he did something absolutely bananas. Not as if libertarians haven't done crazy stuff before, but this one tops the charts. Yesterday, he announced that he was dropping out of the Senate race and he was endorsing Republican Blake Masters. But that is not the most interesting part of this story. The most interesting part is that libertarians are debating whether or not he made the right decision. That's what I'm getting into in this video. I hope you will stay tuned and hear everything I have to say. And if you are a liberty lover like me or involved in the Libertarian Party, I hope you will share this video with as many of your friends as possible. I'm trying to get some sanity back into the Libertarian Party where we're running candidates that want to win elections. So who is Mark Victor? I'm going to be honest, up until a couple weeks ago, I didn't know who this guy was. I am an active libertarian, but nobody's been talking about this guy. The Libertarian Party hasn't promoted him. He's been getting no um, publicity within the Libertarian Party. So I didn't know much about him, and I've only recently started hearing about him because um, apparently people in the Mises Caucus don't like him. And he made some sort of comment about age of consent. But that's pretty much all I knew about him up until yesterday. But just two weeks ago, Reason did a story on him that said he was polling at 15%. 15% for a libertarian in a governor's race? Why would he drop out? That's what I wanted to know. And I wanted to know what his thinking was and why libertarians didn't like him. So yes. Today I went and I watched a lot of what he had to say so I could understand him a little better and why he might have dropped out. So a couple, uh, a few weeks ago, um, Libertarian Dave Smith, who is someone that the Mises Caucus really likes and would like to see run as our presidential candidate, made a comment about him. He said, this guy is a clown who has absolutely nothing to do with us. He went outside the Libertarian Party and got the signatures to be on the ballot. Stupid Arizona laws. I support Blake Masters. This is coming from someone who wants to run as our president. So... I started really digging into this to find out why the Mises Caucus members don't like him and really understand why the heck he would drop out so close to election time. So after hearing about all this controversy, I went and listened to his debate um, with incumbent Mark Kelly and um, Republican Blake Masters. I have um, a lot of information on a blog post that I'm going to leave in the description so you can go watch the debate for yourself if you like. But I went and listened to him talk and I thought he did an excellent job. In fact, he was one of the most articulate, well-spoken libertarians I've ever heard in a debate. He did an excellent job in the debate and even his little comment about age of consent, it wasn't really a significant comment. He just said that the age of consent was debatable. But he explained the problems with our infla the inflation in our country and the problems in our monetary system, which I've never heard a libertarian explained in a way that the average voter could understand. He was really good, and I'm sad that he dropped out of this race because I think he would have done really well. So I thought he did great. But he spoke to Reason Magazine yesterday and spoke to them about a lot of the reasons why he dropped out. Now, I don't agree with him. I don't support him. I don't think this was the right decision for somebody to do in the Libertarian Party, especially one week out from the election. But he did give some insight into why, and I think some of it might have been because our Libertarian Party didn't help him out, didn't get behind him, and he's really more interested in spreading the concept of live and let live and having um, a peace and civility than he is winning a senator's race. Um, I don't agree with him, but I do think he had some points. One of the things he said to reason was, from the people in the National Party, I got nothing but aggravation. 
They did everything they could to make me look bad. I got no love from the Mises Caucus. Of course you didn't. The Mises Caucus likes Dave Smith and from what I can tell, he's the only candidate they really are solidly supporting. Um, and I have heard a lot of people say he was a clown and not like him within the Libertarian Party. And I'd really love for some of these people to explain to me why they didn't support him, um, why he had to get signatures on his own to get on our ballot. And, um, you know, I don't agree with him dropping out of the race, but I don't think... I think he is a legitimate libertarian that wants to make changes. I just think he's going about it the wrong way. If you're running in the libertarian party on our ticket, you need to see it through to the end. Um, otherwise, don't run. We're not running a liberty movement or a um, liberty club. We're running a political party. So now I'm going to get into what libertarians are saying about this. I am not the only person who gets it. The Libertarian Party is a political party, not a liberty social club. While I try to keep my videos open to anyone who's liberty minded, I've run for office twice in the Libertarian Party and I understand that we are a political party. We are not just trying to bring people around to being a little libertarian. So Justin Amash, who is who I support for our presidential candidate if he would run, he got on Twitter and he started talking yesterday and I'm so very proud of him. He tweeted right after he, uh, Mark Victor announced he was um, dropping out. Utterly pathetic, along with a whole slew of other tweets. I didn't um, put all of them in my blog post, but I shared a few. I encourage you to go check out his Twitter account and see what he has to say because he's still um, discussing things with Dave Smith as I'm making this video. So what he tweeted was, if the LP wants to compete with the GOP and Democrats, then it needs to quit playing small ball. We need to bring millions of people to our side, not play kingmaker in an occasional election so we can pat ourselves on the back for getting the lesser evil elected. The Libertarian Party exists to organize libertarians to win elections. A libertarian nominee should never drop out or endorse a nominee from another party. Can we say, duh, libertarians? Um, that's why I'm talking. I want us to have a solid, viable party, and we can't do that if we keep um, endorsing candidates that are okay with someone that's close enough. Um, so Justin Amash is the only potential presidential libertarian candidate that said that Mark Victor was wrong and that we are not about um, spreading the message of liberty. We are a libertarian party that needs to uh, run viable candidates that will see their campaign to, through to the end. And of all the candidates, he's the only one who's, who gets it. He's the only one who said it. And all the rest of our so-called libertarian candidates that are potentially running for president or even running in other races have not backed him up on this. Um, Dave Smith tweeted about this guy a while back, I said, but he tweeted recently. He said, okay, to be clear, I think Mark Victor is a great guy and a solid libertarian. I also think it is in the interest of liberty and it made sense for him to drop out and support Masters. I apologize for calling him a clown, but this guy who wants to be our presidential candidate also endorses Blake Masters. Um, Larry Sharp made some comments about Mark Victor, but he supported his friend Dave Smith and said there was no need to make the retraction that, about him being a clown. At the same time, Larry Sharp said nothing about Dave Smith endorsing Republican Blake Masters. Um, while I'm at it, Mike Tur Matt, who is another Mises Caucus mes member, he made a video a couple weeks ago discussing whether or not we should support um, liberty-minded Republicans or so-called liberty Republicans. And he, I didn't watch the entire video, I'm sorry, I watched most of it, but somewhere in the video he said that it, if um, supporting the LP is not your thing, that's fine. What kind of statement is that from someone who wants to be our presidential candidate? 
Additionally, Spike Cohen, who I happen to really like, has stayed neutral in all the drama in the LP, and he talked a little bit about this argument we're having too, and he said he supports the Liberty Movement. So this is where I'm at. We are not a Liberty Movement, even though I make content for Liberty-minded people, and I have friends with Liberty mind and friends with Liberty-minded Republicans and Liberty-minded. Democrats, we are a political party and it's time we start acting like that. If you want to see libertarians elected, please help me get Justin, Amor Justin Amash on our team. Like this video, comment on this video and share the heck out of it, please. But wait, I have more. These are not the only libertarians embarrassing the party though. These are not the only libertarians endorsing Republicans. I am very, very disheartened, disappointed, and sad to tell you that Gary Johnson, our very own uh, former governor of New Mexico and two-time libertarian presidential candidate, has endorsed the Republican candidate here in New Mexico, Mark Ronchetti. And I can tell you, Mark Ronchetti is not a libertarian. Go read his website if you don't believe me, but he is not remotely a libertarian. And from talking to libertarians in the state some of them have kind of explained it away because we have a Trump supporter running as our governor candidate and um, she's not remotely libertarian either and has been part of the reason why we've had so many problems here in New Mexico but regardless of his reasons he should not be endorsing a Republican especially not right now so I'm talking right now because I want libertarians to help me people that want to see us have a viable um, political party where we get legitimate candidates to run with us because we're not doing crazy stuff like endorsing the other party. If you like me, if you agree with me, if you'd like to see us have a solid, strong libertarian party, please help me out. Like my video, subscribe, share this with as many friends as possible, and go to my website, read my blog post. I think you'll see that there's a lot of good reasons to get behind Justin Amash. Um, I will see you guys soon. I'm going to make another video, hopefully sometime this week. And I appreciate all you guys that are supporting me and helping me grow this channel. See you later, guys.